Being out doesn't necessarily mean being okay, but writing can be a great way to process the pain of the past and ease fears about the future. And you don't have to be a confident writer to benefit. I spoke with Helpline volunteer, Kevin Smith, about a simple activity that can help transport us to a more positive place when we need a little help in the present moment. Enjoy. What is writing for for well-being and who is it for? Writing for well-being is for yourself. You know, you need to take care of yourself. And one way to do that is through writing. I think uh, a lot of people have, you know, these emotions that are trapped inside of them. They don't know how to express themselves. And a method is often uh, comes up in conversation is how about writing things down? Tell me a bit about the exercise that we're going to do together today. Okay. The exercise we're going to do today, it's, a very simple term is just the box. People could call it the emergency box, as in break in case of emergency. But the idea is you're going to be writing some small things in there. It's going to take two or three words. Again, you don't need to be a writer for this. Anybody can do that. But you're going to be creating a box that's going to bring you to a better place, a place that you might need to go to when you are struggling. Or actually, you could be having a really good day, but you want to have an excellent day. So you want to take a dive in there. So basically, to begin, what we need is a box just to be awkward i've got a basket mine's a manila envelope actually so yours is already much better than mine don't worry it looks very pretty so now what you need are about seven eight pieces of paper now the first one again this is only two to three words you don't need to write whole sentences that's why this is great for everybody okay first one i want you to think about a famous person and this is somebody who leaves you in awe maybe due to their talents or achievements but somebody just really impresses you and all you need to do is write that person's name down okay Take a moment. That's okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Number two. Once again, another person. And this person is going to be somebody who gets you. Somebody who makes you feel safe. Easy. (laughs) Easy one. Okay. In the box, please. All right. Number three, a song that has a big impact on you. Number four, a smell. Let's just say one that reminds you of adventure. Number five. Your favorite tea, coffee, or beverage. The next one would be number six is an achievement. Something that you've done in your life that you're really proud of. And number seven, a pick-me-up. Something you can do that makes you feel better. Once you've done it, you've actually transferred those ideas on the paper. That becomes part of you. And I think you remember that when you're having a really tough time. You know. But we're going to go and pretend we're in the future now. And... Uh, You're in a situation where you want to break in case of emergency. Open up that basket right now. Take one out. Okay. So can you please read it for everybody? A walk in Fuxing Park. There's very little that, um, you know, a few laps around it can't soothe. No, absolutely. Create that whole image around you. And uh, Fuxing Park is actually where my wife and I shared our first kiss. So it's also a very special place for me, too. It's beautiful. Oh, well, that's going to that's gonna come to mind now whenever I pull Fushing Park oh. out. <laughs> <laughs> do you have your own box or basket? And if so, how do you use it? My aunt, quite a few years ago, she gave all the, uh, the nieces and nephews a collection of my grandmother and grandfather's World War II uh, correspondence. And I just opened those letters up and I can, you know, I smell the paper. It's not just one word. Obviously, it's a letter. And, uh, but it transports me to another place. It transports me to a different time. Love between my grandmother and grandfather. It's just nice for me to actually escape to that nice place where we're at this. Was there anything else that you wanted to add? Another route could be you can add your spouse. You can add your family. Make a family activity. You're having a big family fight. Break in case of emergency, get that basket out here and say, okay, I think it's time for us to, uh, to reflect a little bit. And the other person, all right, break it open and uh, see where it takes you. Thank you so much, Kevin. It was a real joy. My pleasure, Emma. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye.